Guy that has some real important days coming up, including tomorrow at Pro Day. His name's Harvey Longy. He's now on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Harvey, how you doing, brother? Hey, I'm doing good. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for joining the show. Uh, tomorrow's Pro Day. It's kind of a big day. You already went to the NFL Combine in Indianapolis, so you've had uh, the lights and the cameras and whatnot and the scouts. But how are, uh, how are you feeling the day before the day? Hey, I, I feel good. Um, yeah, the combine was great. Um, it was uh, unfortunate that I had to do it with a uh, you know recent pulled hammy, but um, uh, that the, the hamstrings healed, and I'm gonna go run a fast forty hopefully tomorrow. When did you pull your hamstring? Uh, about a week and a half, two weeks before the the combine. So I just popped that sucker, and it um, I I had to show something at the um, at the combine because it's the biggest stage for a uh, ncaa athlete so i just had to wrap it up and wear like three pairs of tights and take about <laughs> six IV, you know take about six ibuprofen and just go do everything that i could do out there you know that's jason every day at the gym that's that is true that's, that's, it's that, true yeah. it's true now for those watching on byu tv we've got this this great graphic of a of a clean-shaven Harvey Longy. And we know, however, though, that when BYU athletes leave BYU, they always seem to grow a beard. What, how is your beard game right now? Have you gone that direction? Hey, I'm not going to lie. I try to stay strong to about the Senior Bowl, and then after the <laughs> Senior Bowl, FaceTiming like Kai and, and all the other guys, they all had beards. So I'm like, you know what? I can't be the only guy at the freaking Pro Day without a beard. So I'm like, <laughs> For sure, had to grow out the beard. You know, Taysom's beard is pretty thick. And Taysom, so Taysom has got a beard. He has a beard. Oh, for sure. And when you guys see him, you might um, you might think like you won't even notice him. His his beard is freaking thick. It's great. <laughs> it's gonna uh, look like a lumberjack. Oh yeah, for sure. His is lumberjack material, and <laughs> and uh, and so is size. So like, I'm I'm falling a little behind, but it's still thick and it's very nice. So, uh, but. Gosh, you got to give it to us, man. We were clean shaven for two years for missions. If you went on a mission and then clean shaven for four years, it's it's nice not to touch a razor the past couple months. <laughs> <laughs> Harvey Longy is on BYU Sports Nation. He's got a massive beard. Can't wait to see Taysom Hills tomorrow <laughs> at Pro Day as well. Okay, so you go to the Senior Bowl. How how did you feel that went, and how did you feel the combine went with the pulled hammy? Um, the senior bowl was, it was awesome. I felt like a lot of the other guys, um, I felt like there should have been more guys with, uh, BYU logos on there, uh, on their chest uh, with us, you know, it was just Jamal and I, we were pretty lonely out there. Um, I felt like, uh, the West coast teams, uh, didn't really get too much love. You know, you're out there in the middle of the South and they love the South and, um, um, we just had to prove ourselves that we can uh, compete with them. So it was a great, it was a great opportunity. It was a good, um, a good experience, and I felt like I did well. You know, I, I, uh, I, I felt like I did very good with all the reps and the, the opportunities that they've give they gave me at, um, um, at the senior game and uh, during practice. And how about the NFL Combine in Indianapolis? Despite a pulled hamstring, how did you feel that went? Um, the the NFL Combine was great, man. It was. It was a huge test mentally. They try to just, you know, sleep deprive you and um, test you and see how you're going to do mentally with a small amount of sleep and a lot of pressure and a lot of, um, you know, coaches and scouts interviewing you to about 1 o'clock in the morning and then getting up at like 4 o'clock the next day, 5 o'clock the next day. Um, it was great. I felt like, um, I, felt like I, I handled it well. Um, it, it was disappointing that... Uh, you know, a lot of the training um, that I prepared to do to get to that point, um, you know, had to be hindered because of the the pulled hamstring that I, that happened. And but things happen for a reason. And I still, you know, pulled out decent numbers. And for the pro day tomorrow, I'm just going to run my 40. And if I feel like I want to do anything else, I'll do anything else. But pretty much the 40 is all I'm I'm going to do tomorrow. So and some and some position drill work. So. Cougar fans are obviously very aware of your ability to play multiple positions. How has that aspect of your game been received by NFL teams? Um, uh, <coughs> some, you know, a lot of them, a lot of them love it. A lot of them love the versatility. A lot of them thought, hey, that's great. You played running back. You played kick returner. You played 
uh, linebacker at the end. Um, but a lot of them were uh, disappointed in the fact that I had to switch my senior year to um, a whole new position because um, uh, they they see me as a linebacker in their schemes and stuff. So um, overall picture of it, they all love the versatility and knowing that I can play a lot of other um, positions and I'm a team player. Um, but um, for linebacker specifically, they wanted me to play linebacker my last year to like see how how out it went out. But you know, I I tell them to watch the games I played linebacker, and a lot of them a lot of them watch it and tell me like, oh, you still got it, you still got it, you know. So, are you an inside linebacker at the next level? Uh, yeah, for sure, for sure, inside linebacker. Um, a lot of the other guys have been talking about maybe just a. Uh, outside type linebacker and just coming off the edge and blitzing or dropping into coverage also. So, um, but inside linebackers where where I see myself. It seems like it's a rite of passage uh, for us when we we talk to somebody who went to the combine or, or went in the the interview process to ask if there was any like uh, weird questions that they asked you. Did you have any experiences like that where they just threw this bizarre question your way? Um. I feel like they the only weird question that I got is um is them testing me on uh on like oh who do you think's better uh Taysom Hill or Jamal or Kai Nakur or Jamal and like try to put me in a bad spot uh, the rest <laughs> of the the rest of the uh questions were just pretty normal but like that was probably the the weirdest question is just them trying to put me in a bad spot to see what I'd say and and I would always just say, you know what, I really, I really can't say anything about that. All I can say is that both of them are great players. And, you know, just give them what – because I'm not going to just sit there and choose one of my boys over another one, you know. So How dare they try and pit teammate against teammate? Yeah, you know, like uh, that, was, that was probably the toughest question that they would always try to get me with and see what I'd say. Or who, who, which coach did he like better, uh, Bronco or Kalani? And I'm like, oh, both were great coaches. <laughs> I, I get that asked a lot. Who do you like more, Spencer, Jason, Brian, Logan? I'm like, listen, they're all my my dudes. You yeah. know, yeah. bro mode. You know, that's that's just that's just how it is. Harvey yeah, Long is on BYU Sports Nation. Tomorrow you're gonna run the forty. You mentioned. Do you have a, a a target you'd you'd like to run that you think would help you in the draft? Uh, anything under anything out of four six or under. Okay. So if I if I clock a four six, that's expected. If I clock anything under a four six, let's uh, let's go to Takanos or something and celebrate, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to ask you about this season's defense. You're obviously still very familiar with what's coming back for the Cougars on the defensive side of the football. What are your expectations for how good this defense can be? Because by all accounts, they're they're having a pretty good spring. Man, yeah, the the defense is pretty scary. You know, a lot of guys are coming back. Um, the I feel like once the the D lineman establishes who who their their stars are going to be, you know, Kesey Tausing is doing great right now, and uh, you have uh, Tavita and Handsome and them holding down that that middle uh, interior part of the D lineman. But once you can establish the outside parts of the D ends, and um, I feel like that's. Uh, that's just the, the 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 point of like the defense, the part of the defense that needs to be established, and the rest of it. You know, you have guys that have played. You have Micah, and you have Dian, and you have Troy that played in the secondary, and of course, all the linebackers are coming back. So it's a it's a scary thing for for opponents. So I just I'm rooting for them. They're going to have a great year this year. Um, the D line is the key to this defense, and um, hopefully they can. Um, establish uh, their their starting D line and and uh, and just go kill it this upcoming year so a lot of NFL draft projections have you getting drafted do you expect to be drafted yeah you know that's the I I I hope that's everyone's dream that you know that and uh, expectations uh, um, everyone should be uh, should expect themselves to be drafted and and I feel like a lot of us uh, guys that are doing our pro days tomorrow are going to surprise a lot of the scouts and stuff and, and get thrown in the pool to be drafted. Um, but for myself, yeah, that's my expectations. My expectations have been always, you know, I want to go to the NFL. I want to go to the NFL and be the a way to secure 
a good year or, or two years in the NFL is to get drafted, you know, and um, um, I, that's my expectation is to go in the NFL and to get drafted and make sure that I can, um, I can work and, and stay in the NFL. So, Harvey, I, I won't put you on the spot in terms of a specific team, unless you would like to divulge that on your own, but what type of system scheme, what type of situation do you think would be best for you to be able to succeed in the NFL? Um, I, I feel like where I need to succeed is the first to establish myself as a special teams player. Um, I feel like a lot of us um, guys that are trying to go into the NFL, we think that we're going to just go right there and be a linebacker or be a running back or be a quarterback or a safety. But to be honest, we we're going in there to fill up special team spots and to um, work our way through special teams until we have our opportunities or uh, prove ourselves to that we're capable of holding down the starting spot at linebacker, getting reps at linebacker, or safety, or what it is. So uh, my mindset is to go into the NFL straight as a special teams player and uh, to um, you know to uh, hustle and to work really hard and give maximum effort on special teams. And I feel like that's the very first step. And the very first thing that I'm getting my, myself prepared to do is to be on kickoff, kickoff return, and all the special teams until um, I can build a trust and relationship with the uh, linebacker coaches. Absolutely. Worked for Daniel Sorensen to the tune of uh, $8 million guaranteed. So we wish you the best of luck tomorrow and, of course, in the NFL draft. We'll keep an eye on it. Harvey, we appreciate the time, brother. Hey, thank you guys so much.